Hi everyone, it's Javi. It seems that you guys liked the video I did talking about music. So this is talking about my favorite music, Volume 2. Okay, so this year has been awful. We all know that. Um, because of the pandemic and everything going on right now. Um, live music is almost dead, but you know, musicians are still working and some incredible artists are still releasing new music, new records. So today I'm going to talk about three records that helped me through this year and uh, I absolutely adore, even though they <laughs> just uh, came out this year. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this video again and uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like it and to subscribe if you aren't subscribed. Thank you once again for watching, it means a lot. So the first album, first artist um, is George Ogilvy and his album called White Out. White Out came out in April, I think, in April, just, I mean, after a month. I think, yeah, everything started in March, something like that. Well, if you don't know George, George Gill, George is an English musician, um, and this album, well, his music in general is pretty nostalgic and sad, but I think it's very deep and very, very emotional, and I, I really connect with all his ideas and with and with his style. We could say he's a He's an indie folk artist. This album is a masterpiece. It has a very rich and delicate sound. I absolutely adore him. I think his name is pronounced George Gilvy. I don't know about the surname, but anyway, it will appear here or here or wherever. Okay, so album number two, another new one, is a latest uh, album by Biffy Clara. I talked about them in the previous video. This album is called A Celebration of Endings and A Celebration of Endings has a very optimistic sound and lyrics and is as, it is as powerful as Biffy Clyro. I really love this album because um, they, are, they are a band that, that they experiment with, with their sound a lot. Um, we could say they do alternative rock, but they also have more poppy sounds, more progressive rock sound. So everything has a common line, but it's very rich in that sense. And it helps them to show different emotions in different kinds of music, pop music, rock music, whatever. So um, it's great in that sense because you are not close to just one genre and I really love that. I love music so I love to do different kinds of things. And finally the third album that came out this year too is Moropanic by Nothing But Fits. And it is different to their previous works and that's why I love because but these guys combine powerful rock music and huge great riffs with with a smooth and different melodies. They say the album is called More Panic because it talks about the situation right now in the world, talking about politics and everything we are living. We are living a, a difficult moment because of the pandemic and everything going on. I guess that these three are my favorite albums of this year. And I would love to know your favorite albums, so please leave me a comment if you want to share music, if you want to share music with others, as I want. I would love to know what music helped you through this year, and even more if this music is new, is a 2020 record. Thank you once again for watching, as you know it's a pleasure, and uh, I hope to see you very soon. And as I said, if you guys want, I can do this more often, apart from music. Thank you very much. See you soon. Take care. Bye bye.